Donald Walsh steps back into history at the U.S. Naval Museum in Washington. That's where the Trieste is on permanent display. Our job was to maintain and operate the bathyscaphe. The scientists at the Navy lab would decide what kind of research projects we have and what kind of equipment we put on it to make measurements and sampling under the sea. 52 years ago, Walsh, then a young Navy lieutenant, would co-pilot the Trieste on its record-setting dive to a depth of 11 kilometers, deeper than Mount Everest is high. What better demonstration of safety of this platform than to go to the deepest place in the ocean and come back and uh, perfectly intact and, and in working order. The Trieste is a free-diving, self-propelled submersible. Walsh explains that the deck, rails, and conning tower of its gasoline-filled flotation chamber make it look a bit like a submarine. Basically, it is an underwater balloon. You've got two parts to it. You've got the balloon here, which is this long cylindrical object, and that's filled with a lighter-than-water substance, which is aviation gasoline. Oil floats on water. So you get, you get buoyancy or lift. And then beneath the balloon, like a balloon up in the air, you have a cabin for the fragile humans. There's just enough room for two people, Walsh and Swiss scientist Jacques Picard. On January 23, 1960, the Trieste began its mission in rough seas. Things went smoothly until 9.5 kilometers down, when Walsh says they heard a muted bang. It so got our attention, but we, uh, we didn't know at the time what it was. We just knew that we were still alive and everything was functioning well. All our instruments, indicators said that the dive was progressing just fine. That bang, it turned out, was a crack in the plexiglass viewing window. Luckily, it didn't leak, and the Trieste arrived intact at the deepest point in the Mariana Trench. The round-trip mission was completed in eight hours. No human has returned to that deepest part of the ocean. As soon as it's up back on deck at the end of the dive. Filmmaker and explorer James Cameron plans to make the journey solo in a unique, vertically-oriented submersible. Cameron hopes to unlock a few more mysteries of the deep ocean. We know very little about the species that live down there. We know very little about the distribution of the biological communities. We don't know how these animals have adapted to living under this unbelievable pressure that exists down there. Cameron will film and collect samples on the seafloor for about six hours before returning to the surface. When he does, his achievement will owe much to that pioneering dive a half century before by the crew of the Trieste. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.